Welcome back to Taxa Tuesday. Today we are highlighting one of our most robust and stately native grasses. This is Trypsicum dactyloides, commonly known as Fakahatchee grass or Eastern Tama grass. The species is native across the state of Florida and it's become a popular ornamental plant that is planted all over because it's so stately and beautiful. As you can see, it becomes fairly large and wide as well. It, the clump will continue to get wider as it ages. But let's take a closer look at their inflorescences. And so an inflorescence just means the entire flowering portion uh, on a flowering stalk of a plant. And the female flowers are, are situated at the lower part of the inflorescence and they flower first before the male flowers up here flower. And you can see they're flowering now. They have their little stigmas out which receive and collect the pollen. Grasses, grass pollen is airborne and so it's just flowing around in the air and these are hanging out here to collect that pollen. Here is a flower that is a little bit further along. This inflorescence is further along and these male flowers are flowering now with the anthers that would release pollen up at the top of the inflorescence. And the female part of the plant down here is beginning to ripen its seeds because it already flowered, was fertilized and it is beginning to form its seeds. And this plant uh, is a distant relative of corn and you can kind of see a similarity in its large seeds to corn. The seeds are very edible and nutritious. Wildlife really prize them as a resource. They're high in protein, much higher in protein than corn is. And they can be cooked and ground into a flour to make bread or they can be popped like popcorn and it's supposed to be very tasty that way.